Did you ever wonder why indie dev had controller support in their game? Because if you think about it, except for the most obvious motivations, like the game is for consoles, we don't really need that for PC games. Like people have mouse and keyboards and often the mouse have more than two extra keys to use, but the real motivation is because controller support is really helpful for those people who cannot use a normal setup or even normal controllers. So the option to customize the inputs with custom controller stuff is really good and today we're adding that to my game. Although I never saw a bullet hell game with controller support, I'm sure that it will be really helpful and fun to add. So today's stuff to do are create a rough input menu so we can see what we are actually doing, add keys compatible with controllers with the project setting in Godot, and finally make so that the player can change the keys both for the keyboard and for the controller. Before we start though, I just wanted to thank you all for the awesome support I received in the last video, I never thought I'd make those views this early and with my type of content and pronouns, <laughs> so I'll try to get better both in this and game making, so please subscribe and activate the bell to not miss any of my new videos. Step 1. I'm not gonna talk about this step because all I had to do was basically uh, make a scene with all of the buttons, labels and understand how the fuck these containers work. So let's just keep it, make your own uh, scene, menu and we're good. Once that's settled, uh, we're going to make so that every time the player clicks on one of the buttons or the input, which I made multiple, one for the keyboard and the same one just for the controller so the button name will actually be updated with what the player is clicking and the game actually starts to use this instead of the original one. Make so that the game understand that we are using just the controller and not both of the keyboard and controller at the same time so we avoid a speed glitch for the player that happens when we use both of them at the same time in the same directions. And also in the future when we're gonna update all the visual stuff like sprites and etc. I'm also gonna add a visual keyboard and controller to highlight the currently selected key in the options menu. And finally for the last step we save the new keys in a config file and load them when the game opens. It's pretty easy, literally use the config file uh, and you're good to go. So hopefully you like this video. I'm not really the type of guy that's good with entertainment, but hopefully I can share the fun I have while doing what I like. So if you wanna join my army, subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.